Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. It is Thursday. We are literally making our way out of Yellowstone National Park and going to directly head to the Grand Tetons National Park, which is about 25 miles from here. But just before we pull out of the National Park, we see something beautiful. One more little thing <laughs> we wanted to show you. This is called Lewis Falls, and it's actually right on the other side of our campsite. So, kind of nice to, to wake up to this. Yeah, this is basically what we woke up to this morning. I don't know about you, but I ain't complaining. See you in the Grand Tetons. driving through the Grand Teton National Park. There seems to be a lot of overlooks and stuff of the actual Grand Tetons and Jackson, is it Jackson Lake? Jackson Hole, Jackson Jackson Lake. Hole Lake. Uh, anyway, we had to stop on this little side turnoff because look at that. Oh my goodness. beautiful but this whole this is the whole valley we're sitting in right now so the sun's trying to burn all the fog off where we all run a little early and so eventually that's gonna pop out and we can't wait all right so we have stopped at another outlook area and this one shows the entire range of the Grand Tetons. And the one that I'm gonna show you specifically is called Mount Moran, which actually, from what it states, has five different glaciers. This is the view, guys. It is totally breathtaking. I, you've got to see it in person if you ever have the chance. But anyway, we know that this park doesn't have a whole lot to offer like Yellowstone National Park did, but we are on a mission today. And to tell you what that mission is, we are here to find a moose. So let's see if we can find one. All right, so while we're on the hunt. For the moose. <laughs> did you know that they feed on aquatic plants? They actually dive 18, Feet? Up to up to 18 feet. Up to 18 feet underwater to feed on aquatic plants, and they most commonly eat willows. Interesting fact. And they can stay underwater up to one minute to eat. Yeah, pretty crazy, right? I Where the moose yet. at? We are now on the drive called Jenny Lake Scenic Drive. It's a one-way and apparently it's supposed to lead us to the moose. We'll see though. Alright, so we decided to stop and go on a hike. And we are hiking to a place called Taggart Lake. And it appears to be a very popular hike because the parking lot, you can see, is full. And there are several people ahead of us. And it's about a 1.6 mile hike. Let's go check it out, guys.
So the last you knew, we went on a hike and we did not make it to the top at the lake. We had a scheduled call as we decided to run our business while we were on vacation. It has led to some extra challenges, some extra stress, stress and it was probably a choice that we should have made, but I don't think I regret it. No. I think the big thing is we just didn't have a, the cell service that we thought we were going to have. Yeah, exactly. Uh, as far as being on like vacation, like whatever, whatever, we still have, you know, people to help and continue to learn and grow. Mm -hmm. So lesson learned. But we're sitting here, so we didn't make it all the way to the hike. We only made it maybe like a mile. We went back to the truck. We have drove to a place called Moose, and we're sitting here in the parking lot, chasing a fucking mouse around. Mm, yeah. So not only are we chasing, trying to find a moose, we're trying to find a mouse. Yeah, we woke up at like five o'clock this morning because there was a mouse running around on a bag that was crinkling and so we now have two set I mouse thought maybe it was a bear outside <laughs> we now have two set mouse traps and we are trying to catch the mouse um we're tired i think no we are tired no yeah i mean like today is actually kind of blah so it sounds crappy because like even the grand tetons uh have snow clouds on them so you can't actually see the peaks you can literally just see the and they're beautiful like even what you can see is beautiful with the lake and all that stuff but neither one of us are like into Ourselves. it or into it it's just kind of like yeah. man you want to pull over here sure get out take some pictures get and back it's, in it's absolutely breathtakingly beautiful and like and i think it's just kind of like Yellowstone there was so much to see and do and the Grand Tetons like it was literally just like yes there's hikes that we could have stopped at of course we had our scheduled call but it's really just like a scenic drive yeah it's a scenic route where Yellowstone is like you park and then go check something out where here it's like here's an overlook take a picture yeah but like realistically we had a huge weekend and it was very mind emotionally spiritually draining dra but building um, we never really gave that time to set in uh, we have now traveled solid for like this is our f like ninth day <laughs> and so you know we've had some some crazy things and, and things like that and I like today we are just not ourselves and this is exactly we why we wanted to make this video is because I'm sure we show it. I'm sure every van life and bus life shows it. Like, everything's perfect and whatever, whatever. Well, here's our floor right now. It's a freaking disaster. And I actually just I'm left sitting it. on a cooler. Like, yeah, it's just, and, and, and we're, we're, we're no, no way, shape, or form complaining. We want to show you what actually goes on mm -hmm. in living in a vehicle. So we now have a mouse. Um, we will catch him. We will catch him. We are eating lunch in our bus um, in right outside of Grand Tetons National Park. We're already outside of the park. Um, like we said, there's not a ton of things, um, but we were able to do the things that we wanted to do. We got some cool pictures and stuff, and it was totally worth doing. Um, definitely not the main attraction in the area. Right. It's uh, but way different than than Yellowstone. It was just good to do it yeah then we had a call for our business and it just didn't go as planned so it's like kind of like another bummer and just already kind of like mentally drained and stressed and i received a message yesterday You want me to go? So, Tanya got some news that a friend of hers that she worked with at another place uh, several years ago um, had been struggling with life and, and 
had been struggling. Her daughter, daughter passed away earlier this year and just a lot of, a lot of stress and a lot of depression. And she actually ended up taking her life on Tuesday, I believe, either Monday or Tuesday. And so it's just kind of been just like that, you know, it just, you kind of get the, what could have we done? What could have we, and so we actually came up with the best way for us to help as many people as possible is to literally share our story and the actual truth, you know, not like the, oh, we're at the waterfalls and it's beautiful. And, but today we're literally sitting outside the Grand Tetons. It's absolutely magnificent. And I could crawl in that bed and sleep and lay around and do nothing the rest of the day. Like that's the real talk. That's really what's going on with us today. Mm -hmm. And Um, I think it's so easy. People get so caught up in the perfect lives that people portray with social media. Sure. And I'm not saying like that's why she took her. Like I have no explanation for any of that. That's none of my nothing. But there's so much suicide that goes on anymore. And it just makes it like we had a really strong talk yesterday about like why are these things happening? Like why is it so prominent now? And, you know, I really believe it's just because everything is so fake. Everything on social media is portrayed to be the perfect life, the perfect this, the perfect that, that it does not show the deep, real, raw emotion. And I think people just get so caught on that. Yeah. Yeah, it's so much. And, you know, like, I guess you could say we're guilty, but like, you know, we put our travel pictures up and our stuff. And so we're going to really focus on showing you the shit. So I, in my story today, there's literally a picture of Herman the damn mouse hanging out of my bag. And that's, that's reality. Like, this is, this is what we have. This is where we're at. We have chosen to sell all of our stuff and all of our things so that we could possibly see and do more things. And that's literally it. That's, that's the reasoning. And there's no like, oh, we did it so we could save money and we did it so, no, like we literally have made this choice so that we could do the things that we want to do and the things that we want to see and have these deep conversations. Like I, I think differently than most. And what if, you know, what if we made videos and, and, and it helped people or whatever? Like, I don't know. I don't know. But I know that there's so, like, every picture on Instagram is perfect and filtered and whatever, whatever. And I will say that I've never filtered a picture or showed you whatever. I'm just saying, I think that it's so easy to get caught up in everything's perfect and everything's beautiful. And, oh, man, look at that. They got the perfect life. But that doesn't mean that your life sucks or that their life is perfect. It's literally a picture and it's it's really just showing you where they are at that very second. And so I think we just are gonna end this one actually. I I think this is gonna be it for us today. Um, I think we're just gonna take some time. Maybe just get some pizza, have some beer, (laughs) and go about another day. You know, like we're good, everything's good, we just, are not ourselves today and it's it's hard to believe because like oh well you're on vacation and you're at the grand tetons and it's like no i it's i'm not into it today Mm -hmm. so i think we're gonna sign off and we love you guys we appreciate everything um let us know how we can help if we can help where we can help let us know spread love